Yeah, I'm going to talk about my most favorite game right about this time. It ain't out here in the U.S. yet, but it's out in Japan. So if you're into imports and stuff, you can get it. But it's going to be out pretty soon, though. If you buy video game magazines, you've probably already seen the ads and stuff. It's for the Shimon 3, Part 3 in the whole series. Now, um, the Shimon is one of the first games that came out for PlayStation when it first came out. And it kind of made PlayStation bubble. Like, everybody was amazed by it because it, it was actually a 3D game where you could actually fight on different planes. You, you weren't stuck you to just 2D fighting. You could actually flip around the ring in, like, 3D, like a ring where you could get knocked off. It's kind of been changed, No, in Part 3. It changed around a little bit. Now you fight in big, like, arenas. And first off, let me say this. Like, a lot of people are probably like to shit in this. It's not really cool anymore and all this. No, I only play Tekken 3 and, you know, whatever. You know, people said the same thing about Virtual Fighter, but you got to get this. They took a lot of stuff from Fighting Vipers, whereas you fight inside a cage now, big, humongous cages, and everybody has, like, two secret powers. Like, you got your overdrive, and then you got another, like, soul bomb. That's what I like to call it. And you could use it to, like, eradicate your foes. Like, if they try to attack you or anything, you get about two of them for a round. And, like, your energy bar is really long now. So fights could last, like, really long between good players. And it has, like, a juggle system where you could juggle people up in the air for as long as you want to. Like, okay, an example is if somebody is jumping at you, trying to do, like, a jump kick or something at you, you can hit them with an the uppercut. And as soon as they come to the ground, before they even hit the ground, you can hit them a couple more times. They'll land on the ground. You can kick them on the ground. You can beat people up while they're lying on the ground. Like, it's, you'll get your full brutal money's worth if you like the brutal stuff where you just beating up on somebody. You can kick them while they're on the ground, kick them back up into the air, hit them, juggle them up a few times with a few uppercuts. If they're near a wall, you can rebound them off the wall and keep doing it. It gets frustrating if you're not a good player, but it's a good game. You should get it. It's a lot of um, strategy, a lot of technique involved, a lot of characters. There's 32 different characters you could use. When you first started off, they only got like 18 or so. But as you progress through the game, as you beat it with each character in the game, you get another secret character. And there's like um, four secret boss characters just waiting for you to get it. Three you'll see in the there's three you'll see in the game. You'll see Shell and he's been in the other games. But there's also two new bosses and then there's another secret boss that you've never seen before too. So it's a good game. That's my I give it a five. A five. Five a five. Five out of oh five. Nine or two or none of this. So somebody if you hear somebody try to tell you all this stuff about the Shin and Three, just know you heard it from Dale. This is what we work over here. Straight up. What's the graphics like in that game? The graphics oh okay, good, good, good that you mentioned that. The graphics. Um, they did something that nobody has ever done in a video game before. You could either play in thirty grand uh, in thirty frames or you could play in sixty frames, many frames per second as of um, animation. Like, think of it as animation cells. How many animation cells were flicked by your eye per second? So it's either 30 or 60. 30, the graphics are pretty good. They're up there with the best games that are out. It's more on the cartoony side, like anime type style. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more on that, but I like that. But the graphics are good, but you're playing at 30 frames per second. And if you ever play Virtual Fighter or any of the Sega games, it starts to look kind of slow after a while. The other mode is um, uh, 60 frames per second. The 60 frames per second is um, the, lower, the lower resolution in the graphics. But the speed and the smoothness of the fighting is just immaculate. It just looks better. It's easier to get your moves off because the fighting is smoother. Not to say that it doesn't look as good as the other version. It just looks different. It's, it's like Cobalt number one for anybody else out there that's played it. So maybe some of your friends might want, might not want to play it. Because a lot of my friends, they'll play, um, we'll play 60 frames mode. And they'll be like, why are you playing it on this mode? Like, they can't understand why Why would you play it on this mode. I guess they can't understand that it actually moves smoother.
and it just looks better all around. But the graphics it lose loses resolution. So whatever you, whatever your heart's content, it got that option in it though. If you want to do that, no other game has done that before, and it's still 3D movement. You can move all around the ring if you want to. You can dodge stuff. They got like a dodge move where you run and then you press the button. It's kind of it's not complicated. It, it doesn't have a block button. You fight just like Street Fighter. You hold back the block. You got two punch buttons and two kick buttons. So, you know, all the moves are Street Fighter moves, regular Street Fighter moves. You've already, you probably can figure out most of the moves by yourself without the instructions. I learned probably, probably all the moves already, and I don't have instructions or nothing. Right. So two modes apply, 32 characters, hella combos, right? Yep, cops. Oh yeah, they got preset combos too, just like on every fighting game nowadays. Yeah. So they mix that with Street Fighter moves too. It's good. So you can still get off your old school Street Fighter moves too, like jump kick, hit them low, hit them high, uppercut, you know, dragon punch or whatever, you know. You can still do those. So five stars out of five from there, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Cool, cool. So you got anything to say to all the online heads? Oh, man, just keep listening, man. We gon' stay tuned. We gon' hit you with more. Cause I got more here. I'm the video game king. Yeah. Right here. So just check me out, you know. So this is probably gonna be like every week or maybe every two weeks or something. So if y'all like this, give me a holler, let us know, and then we'll keep it up. So that's it. Yeah, peace. Peace.